This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm going to dedicate this video to my subscriber, Being Electric. Being Electric said, research the Ebner effect, and uh, it sounded familiar, but now I'm fully refreshed, and I'm going to narrate a title called Electrostatics, Spontaneous Evolution, and Reversing GMOs, also known as the Ebner effect. Written by Jason Verbelli, also known as Verbs, V-E-R-B-Z. Quote, everyone knows evolution takes place over long periods. Small incremental changes over geologic time with compounded differences between those species. But what if drastic leaps in evolution could be achieved within a single generation? That is a phenomenon discovered by a man, Guido Ebner. Ebner had an electrostatic source in his lab at home. He found that his house plant tended to grow towards the electrostatic source more so than lead towards the window where the sun was shining. Ebner had multiple ferns of the same type around his home, but the one next to the electrostatic field was larger and more vibrant. SEF stands for Static Electric Field. Guido Ebner then took the seeds from the larger fern and planted them. The next generation looked completely different after he planted the parent seeds. The next generation seemed to be an evolved version of the same plant. Here's the leaf from the second generation, showing a drastic difference. Second generation after static electric field influence. Here's without SEF and with SEF. Ebner removed the second generation fern from the SEF for the life of that fern. He then took the seeds from that plant and replanted them. The result was a hybrid of the first generation and second generation, as if the plant was reverting back to the original state because it was without the influence of the coherent static field. This intrigued Guido Ebner intensely, so he bred trout eggs between capacitor plates generating the electrostatic field. Again, he tested more and found the influenced eggs resulted in new physical attributes larger added vibrancy to attract more mates, and seemed to have more functions with less parts. At first it was theorized the trout were a more evolved version, but upon further inspection it was noticed that the second generation of influenced trout might actually be an extinct version rather than a more evolved version, as if the original genetic potential was allowed to flourish because every atom making up the fish was saturated in SEF throughout its growth stages. The quote evolutionary results from static electric influence has been labeled the Ebner effect. For more context, I'll post a link in the description. The Ebner effect is a lot like Rupert Sheldrake's morphogenic fields. You can get an idea by listening to his presentations on YouTube, one of which was censored by TED Talks. I'll put that link in the description as well. GMOs are foods with artificially mutated genes sometimes incorporating toxic chemicals into an attempt to make them resistant to specific bugs. Imagine being able to potentially restore foods to their original genetic potentials, with massive nutrients, vibrancy, taste, aroma, increased size, and overall appearance. What would happen to people if they were conceived, born, and raised around an influential static electric field? The science exists, but not many experiments to explore this fantastic phenomenon known as the Ebner effect, which I take to be equal to drastic evolution and or a restoration of original genetic potential. This was written by Jason Verbelli. And this made me think, I've got a failed garden that I started last year. Part of it's the intense heat here in Texas, but you know what? What if I ran some current? safely, obviously, or tried some indoor experiments since I've had more success growing plants indoors than outdoors where I live. So you know what? Uh, Electric Bing and Mr. Jason Verbelli, also known as Verbs, you know what? The idea is planted in my brain. I don't know if I can make it happen, but perhaps I will uh, integrate this type of experiment into what I do sometime in the near future. I appreciate you for sharing that being electric. See you next time.